Have you ever started something new and taken a leap of faith? There was a famous philosopher that once said, do or do not, there is no try. People use this term leap of faith in a lot of different ways. But I think for me, it relates a lot to this idea that your life could have a different path, but there's fear and uncertainty, not knowing what will happen if you take that path, but then trusting your preparation, trusting yourself to take that leap to take the plunge, to make the decision, and do it anyway. That is, that is so scary. Woo! We're hanging on now! <laughs> so before I get to my leap of faith, I wanna lead you through a couple of decisions, maybe abstract ones that I've made. But first, let's start with some very concrete, real life leaps of faith. So you can see what I'm talking about. Attempt number two. Whitewater kayaking is one of the greatest examples. I've been doing the sport now for 10 years. So visualize this. You stand on the edge and you look at a rapid that has consequences. These are difficult rapids. You could get hurt, potentially even die. You can only stand on the side for so long. You can dwell on the consequences that will happen. Oh, it's pretty, it's pretty big. But at some point, you have to dive in. You have to take the leap, take the plunge. You have to commit. That's the biggest part. You gotta get in your boat. You gotta trust your ability. You have to trust your gear and you cannot second guess yourself. In fact, the worst thing that you can do is hesitate. Now, whitewater kayaking is a perfect example. Once you've taken the leap and you've succeeded, you can apply taking that leap of faith to other aspects of your life. For me, the leap of faith is simply about this. You look at something that you wanna do, you've prepared, you've planned, you've evaluated the risks, and you decide to do it. And you don't know what's gonna happen, but you go with the flow and hope it's gonna turn out. Now let me give you a few examples in my real life where I didn't literally jump off of things, but it's the same philosophy, taking a leap of faith to try to move the needle forward, move you into a new place. The first, was when I was 19. I had this vision that I wanted to study marine science. And this is kid from North Texas right here, 600 miles from the ocean. So I found a way to travel to Australia and study there for a year. It was all on my own. It was very scary. I had to trust that I could do it. I only had $4,000 total budget for the entire year. So I made some decisions. One, I never went out to the bar and drank. Uh, I didn't ever go out to eat. In fact, I mostly ate rice, beans, cereal, and yogurt. I loved yogurt. The Australian yogurt is the best. And I volunteered on weekends to help shoot Crown of Thorns starfish, which was a way to let me scuba dive on the reef for free. But that trip opened my eyes to a whole new way of thinking about the world, to meeting people from all over the world that thought similarly to me, that wildlife was one of the most important things you could study. And side note, that's also where I met Jonas. Have one of my partners help me out. Come on, come on in here, Jonas. It is cold up here. The next leap of faith I can remember was when I was in Hawaii as a marine biologist, learning how to do the craft. And I took the leap of faith to make my own science documentary, which wasn't really on the same path. It was a little bit of a pivot. Uh, and that was scary. I have to understand at this point, I was a kid. Nobody was gonna fund the doc, so I, I decided to do it myself. I bought a $150 van. I invited five of my friends to travel 7,000 miles through Mexico, sleep on the side of the road, eat mostly rice and beans, and basically just rough it so I could make my first documentary. And all of this was scary because I had to find ways to pay for all of this stuff that I did. So I, I roughed it for a long time. In fact, while I was teaching biology at grad school, I would do things like in the day, uh, lead nature tours up the mountains and at night sleep under my desk because I didn't have a place to live. Uh, that was if I wasn't living on this this little boat that I had. And understand, living on a small beat up boat in Hawaii is the equivalent to sleeping in your car. It was not glamorous. I have to point that out because when I tell people I was living on my boat, they think it was really glamorous. It was so far from glamorous. But those were some of the sacrifices I made to make this leap successful. That kind of led me to the next leap, which was deciding to do a second 
graduate degree in Montana State. So again, I made a kind of a scary decision and a move to a place I had no idea what I was going to find. The nominees are Footloose, The Wild Classroom. Over the next several years, I made a lot of films, just like a ton. I think they're going to like this one, guys. All right. Oh. In doing so, I also met my wife, Haley, a fellow science communicator. We decided to take another leap and get married, just really to commit to this next step in our lives. And I won't dwell on that because I think everybody knows that's scary and that's a difficult step to kind of jump into marriage. Most of it was I didn't want the future decided for me. I wanted to have the vision and make the decisions to go down the path I wanted to go down. All of these leaps of faith are scary. Jump off of a cliff? No, you're gonna fly off of a mountain. In fact, that's part of what makes them a leap of faith. If there wasn't something scary uh, about it, then it would it would be easy. You wouldn't have to take the leap. You just like see the door and walk through it. I think it's also important to understand that I haven't made every decision right. I'm not talking about every time I make a leap, I succeed. In fact, I've beefed a lot of these. Are you okay then, completely? <laughs> yeah. Not only have I injured myself in actual leaps, skydiving, Good job. doing rapids, definitely almost drowned once doing that. Um, I've even made some decisions in my career where I kind of look back and I think maybe it would have been better if I made another decision, although I don't think it's super helpful to dwell on those. Uh, I definitely, with that sailboat that I lived on, was planning once to sail to Australia. And fortunately, and I can say this now, I sank that sailboat in the storm of the decade, a few miles offshore, and the Coast Guard saved me, and I didn't take that other trip because I probably would have died. So that was, that was good, but that would have been not a very wise leap of faith. <laughs> now I think about this all a lot with my kids. I don't want them to take blind leaps. That's not what a leap of faith is all about, not at all. What I want is for them to learn to follow their passion, to learn how to prepare themselves, to get the knowledge and the skills needed, to evaluate the risk that they're gonna take, and then to commit enough to follow it through. That's what it's all about. Once, then I just then I, I really like doing it. Now that brings me back to the leap I'm taking right now with Stone Age Man. Welcome to Stone Age Man. You may have actually seen this develop over the last year. In fact, everything I've done in the rest of my career, I think, has led me to this right here. This is my way to teach about the natural world in a very hands-on and practical way. It's not us versus nature, animals, the fungi, and humans. And it's scary because I don't know how it will go, I don't know how well it will be received, but I have to a little bit trust that the direction is right. You know, obviously I worry about this a little bit because these kids of mine, this is the part where you can help more if you want. Now, I make films for you, directly for you. If you think that's a clover, you then you're wrong. Me? This is why it's a treasure hunt. And so on Patreon, I actually ask people to give me reviews of Rough Cuts. If you sign up at certain tiers, I send you postcards. And I have a new thing on Patreon where if you go to the Book Plus tier, you can pick up a copy of the new book for cheaper than you can get it on Amazon. And we'll both sign it and send it to you. That's kind of our way of saying thank you for supporting all of the work that we're doing. <sighs> it means a lot, thank you. It does. I just want to have you there uh, because we do a lot of fun things for patrons. Now, if you're attempting a leap, let us know in the comment section below because we have a great community here and we all want to just help each other out and I think together we can help each other succeed. All right, here's to the next video. You or do not, there is no try. Okay. All right, hop on my back. Let's go train. Run, 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 run. I can be a backpack while you run. <laughs>